and welcome to my channel. So in this video I'm going to do a reading for the Sagittarius personality for the month of July. So looking at the main themes coming up for you, big breakthroughs, things to look forward to and guidance to navigate the month of July. So I'm going to use the Alistair Crowley Thoth Alistair Crowley, both tarot deck <laughs> for this reading, and I'm also going to use Yasmin Boland's Moonology Oracle card deck. And if you like either of these decks, the description for those links for those will be in the description below. Yes. <laughs> okay. So looking at main themes for Sagittarius, please. in July, main things in July for Sagittarius. What have we got? Ooh, hello. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take these because I feel like they wanted to come out. So we've got four. Um, two of them are very similar as well. So, okay, here we go. So first one that came out adjustment. So I'll show you them first and then we'll talk through them. Six of discs success. Very nice. <laughs> and then we've got these two which are really similar. So we've got Queen of Swords and Princess of Swords. So again just having a look at those and seeing what comes through. Okay, so immediately we've got a lot of swords here. We've got two swords, Queen of Swords and Princess of Swords. And we've got um, Adjustment, which is Libra's card. And Libra is an air sign. So swords rules the air. Um, sorry, air, bleh. right, sorry. Swords represents air. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> so it feels like there's a lot of focus on your mental processes this month. There's a lot around the mind, a lot around thinking, a lot around strategizing is what I'm getting. Lots of strategy, getting clarity on things, um, getting things in order, um, using your logic to make decisions. Again, like I always think with um, Queen of Swords, it's very much about decision making and like using your sort of intellect. It could also be as an additional meaning that there is um, some learning is going to go on because it's the mental processes. It's like a lot about learning and maybe studying. Reading could be an important theme for some of you this upcoming month. So you might find that you feel more drawn to study something, something to learn. Um, you are Sagittarius as well, which does rule sort of studying and higher learning. So maybe there's something about doing some of that this month and that being a bit like you might maybe find a new thing that you want to start studying potentially for um, potentially a new career or something like that. Because we do also have a discs here and it's success. So six of discs does speak of your more material world, your more um, like financial success. So it does feel like maybe there is something here for some of you around learning things to help you create some more success in your life. It might even be like learning about you know, finances or something. Again, that's quite a specific message, but that could be very much the interpretation of these cards. Um, but then also with the adjustment card that we've got here, feels like there is a need for balance and maybe to make some little changes, little tweaks. Um, so maybe some things haven't quite been working, but July is going to give you an opportunity to sort of um, adjust things, right? And like tweak things and move things around so that things are a little bit more seamless. But yeah, definitely getting a feeling of a need to kind of plan and strategize this month, um, learning and having some success, which is lovely. I love this for you. <laughs> okay, so looking at a big breakthrough for Sagittarius, please. Okay, so here we've got 
the Empress. Um, new create, yeah, I'm getting like creative solutions because the Empress to me often feels like a very creative energy, a very birthing kind of energy. Um, it's also Venus's card. So if you look there, that's Venus's glyph there. Gl Venus rules love, beauty, pleasure, and um, art, artistic creativity. So with this being a breakthrough, maybe it's something about um, like leaning into more of your sort of creativity this month and getting more inspiration because we have so many swords here. It, like again, the mind and air is very much about what what we're inspired by to be inspired so it feels like creative solutions um or with it being a breakthrough around creativity like maybe you've been in a bit of a creative rut and now you're getting more new ideas and new things are being birthed and that's quite exciting and yeah it feels like I don't know I'm just getting this like ooh, like things are kind of culminating and things are getting quite exciting for you okay so, something to look forward to for Sagittarius, please. I'm always happy to see the Empress too. <laughs> yes, okay, so we've got two cards that fell out here. We've got the Devil and we've got Four of Discs Power. So with this being something to look forward to, um, the Devil often speaks of like falling um, prey to temptation um, going off track, sort of not sticking to plans, but with this being in something to look forward to, it's like you're over, you're able to overcome your own like temptation or avoidance because we do also have this card here, which is about um, creating structures and working hard. It's Sun in Capricorn, so Capricorn is very much about. Um, actually, interestingly, they're both Capricorn cards. This is fascinating. So that's the Capricorn glyph there, and that is the Capricorn glyph there. And Capricorn rules structures, it rules organization, it rules systems. So something to look forward to is things feeling more stable, things feeling more structured, th feeling more organized. Again, like with all this planning and stra strategy that I'm seeing in this reading, you might feel a lot clearer on things and not so easily tempted to sort of not follow through on your commitments. So it's gonna be easier to follow through on commitments is kind of, is, is really the energy I'm getting from that. Okay, so guidance, ooh, hello. Yeah, six of cups, pleasure. Love that for guidance. Yeah, so following what, what lights you up, what excites you. Um, be leading with pleasure first, like think pleasure first. What would what would I enjoy? What would be fun? Um, because you've got so much like good stuff going on here. Like you've you're gonna be really kind of in the process of like getting things together, getting things organized, all this new creative energy coming through, getting some balance back in order and adjusting things and just like really enjoying the process of doing that I think is what I'm really getting with this I like, enjoy the process love this okay so looking at some additional guidance for Sagittarius please for the month of July Thank you. Oops, oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry, so many fell out there. A bit too many. Um, bear with me, try that again. Additional guidance for Sagittarius. There we go, thank you. <laughs> your card interesting one more please yeah yeah there it is okay so first one that came out take time to breathe out 
out. I want to show you the next one as well because I do feel like they're speaking to each other. You know, I was saying your card, this is full moon in Sagittarius, so it's a Sagittarius card. Look at the bigger picture. So there is something here because, again, we've got all of these swords and there's something about like zooming out and gaining a new perspective is a really important theme for you this month um, of July. So taking time to breathe out so you can just look at everything, assess the situation, like logically, you know, like it's not always about our feelings. It's also about like looking and at things in a different way, looking at things from different angles. There's something here about needing to do that and looking at the bigger picture of things. And like maybe it is about assessing like what things are working and what aren't because we've got adjustment. Adjustment is like, let's zoom out, let's look at the bigger picture and let's see what's working, what isn't and what what tweaks do I need to make here? What changes do I need to make so that like I'm not just taking action on any old stuff. I'm like actually taking directed values led action, if that makes sense. And then I've also got here, um, have faith in your dreams. We've got success as well. So there's something about just remembering, like, not remembering, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just know that what you want is coming. Um, because it does feel like what you're asked to look at is like your kind of bigger soul purpose type stuff. Like that's what you're being asked to zoom out and look at. And it's just remembering like when you're in that process of doing that and in all of the kind of like an analysis and things like just remember that what you want is possible. Don't lose sight of that is what I'm hearing. Like just keep that in mind. Keep like your dreams and aspirations at the forefront of your mind. Yeah. Ooh, I love this month for you. Yeah, creative energy, getting structures in place as well is going to be really big parts of this month for you. Love it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. As always, if you like this content, liking it lets me know you like it. Commenting, um, let me know what you thought of the reading. And if you're not sure what to put, just leave an emoji. And um, if you would like more of this content going forward, subscribing is the best way to get more. Thank you so much and have a fabulous month. Mwah.